Welcome to Toffee TV. It's the Everton News Daily. Everton are reportedly on the verge of announcing that a new group has uh, entered into exclusive negotiations with Farad Mishiri to take control of the football club. Uh, Andy Bell and George Darning have apparently been trying to pull the deal together with the support of Zeus Capital and BDT and MSP partners. Uh, there are reportedly five different groups battling to take over Everton. Those groups are ACAP, uh, George Darning and Andy Bell, as I've just mentioned. MSP Sports are still in there. And John Texter, who we know all about, but owns Crystal Palace, or so 45% of Palace. And an unnamed American group. Now, we don't know which one of those is apparently about to enter into that. We don't even know whether that story is fully accurate. But what we do know is there are multiple groups now trying to buy Everton Football Club from Farad Mishiri. The collapse of the 777 uh, deal means that Farad Mishiri from June the 1st was able to speak to other parties with regards to taking Everton Football Club over. And this is where we are. This is the first bit of light, I think. I think people have known for a while that Triple Seven was going the wrong way, uh, the deal. But we've been in limbo, and it's really good to know that there is more than one group interested in taking the football club over. Let's hope the Farad Mashiri picks the right one, and it's one that can take Everton Football Club forward. Uh, Everton are interested in Leon and Ireland defender Jake O'Brien. Uh, this story has been reported before, and Everton are still interested. That's what the links are saying today. Borussia Dortmund also very interested in the 23-year-old defender, Azar Milan. Uh, he played and started in 27 games for Leon in league last season, uh, scoring four goals, getting two assists, and keeping seven clean sheets in total. I think there was a picture of John Texter with them as well, wasn't there? It was obviously uh, got a stake in Leon as well, but they will have to keep an eye on that one. But I remember him being linked with Everton kind of last summer as well, I think it was. So we'll see if anything uh, develops with that one. Uh, Everton have also been linked with another centre-back today. It is FC Cologne centre-back Timo Hubers, who is apparently available for £6 million due to a relegation release clause in his contract. That is according to Fabrizio Romano. Uh, the defender is 27 years of age. He played 33 times last season for Cologne. Uh, but unfortunately for them, they were relegated. But it's an opportunity, I guess, for Everton to get a... Uh, centre back in at a cup price if they're looking to offload Mason Holgate, Michael Keane, which they are. There's obviously uh, uncertainty around Ben Godfrey as well. So you know, three centre backs who've all been in Everton squad uh, over the past few years, but aren't really pushing for the first team start. Godfrey did, but more in a full back role. But Keane, I think, will want to leave this summer. Holgate, Everton have obviously loaned out and, and want them to move on. Uh, and, and, of course, there is uncertainty over Jared Branthwaite as well. We're hoping that he stays, but if a big offer came in, then I'm sure Everton would probably have to listen to it. So, Sean Dyke and the recruitment team are obviously looking uh, far and wide for defensive um, defensive reinforcements, and hence the links to those players. Uh, and finally, Everton are set to be Brighton to the signing of 16-year-old Partick Thistle centre-forward Kieran Loney. Uh, Loney is the youngest ever player to play for Partick and impressed Everton scouts during a trial with the football club earlier this season. He is very, very highly rated. There is certainly a buzz about him. There was a buzz about him at Finch Farm when he was there as well. And if Everton have beaten off Brighton, then it shows that uh, they're looking in the right places. Brighton have obviously got an excellent record with their recruitment over the last few years. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Have a great weekend. See you later.